Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing something a little bit different for you guys. Well, I am doing an entire illustration with backgrounds and everything. Um, here you guys can see me going through a little bit of the process that I did with doing a couple of the objects from this illustration. I had this idea of, this was an actually a very, very old sketch that I had laying around and I had no idea what I was going to do with it and since I upgraded my style and I am adventuring into doing backgrounds, I decided to play a little around and just redo everything with that illustration, well, with the sketch that I had. and. What I started with, I didn't have an idea how I could do the placement of the objects and also making it, you know, to have a perspective and to make it look pretty, especially because backgrounds, it's, it's a bit complicated to draw. <laughs> Um, what I did to make this entire illustration, especially with the cupboards and her sitting position, I used a little grid that I made and I've been watching a couple of videos of how to use grids to help you with perspective and I can say that this, literally, this little trick literally helped me drawing perspective throughout the entire thing and I actually got the perspective that I wanted with her sitting close to the wall and you could see like a cupboard on the side and another one on the other side as well and you can also see like that it has like a wide perspective as in like she's just sitting there having well it's not actually tea but I'm just gonna tell you guys <laughs> from the start she's not actually drinking tea she's drinking wine and I had this idea she was actually just going to be drinking tea in the beginning and then I had this crazy idea of making her sit down and instead of drinking tea she has like a wine bottle on her side and the label of the, wi the wine bottle said I came here for the tea and I just loved it so and after that I decided to make a couple of more wine bottles which I have on top of one of the cupboards and I really enjoyed that idea because I thought it was so funny that instead of her actually having a cup of tea um, she's just sitting around probably talking to a friend and she like they're spilling the tea I was going to add another character into this illustration. I just decided not to because I don't know. I thought like just her in general looked really cool and you could actually imagine herself like yourself like looking at this and then you're seeing because she's literally drinking something that says I came here for the tea. It definitely gives out the vibes that like she's talking to someone so i made it like a little specific especially because of the wine bottle and like if you've never like sat down in your kitchen floor with your bestie and just talked <laughs> and like literally just went on talking crap then you're doing this wrong <laughs> and i just went on with that until i decided that like the background was good and I went into and drawing her. I made her the style that I'm normally doing right now and it's something that I am actually very happy with. Um, I did redo this mug but I realized that I actually forgot to film it like I stopped for a break because I took a while doing the background and then when I came back I realized that I hadn't recorded me fixing a couple of things in the sketch that included the mug that she's holding. I it, it just looks bigger. The mug literally just looks a bit bigger and that's pretty much it. It just looks more symmetrical, it looks prettier, especially cuz this is just a sketch that I am that I did underneath. So I did redo it cuz normally I have this tendency of doing a sketch and then I redo the sketch and then I do a clean line art because I normally have everything there. Um I know sometimes I do 
forget to do that. I'm not going to lie. Like sometimes I do forget to do that a, like a lot. Like here I'm already cleaning it out and then I realize that I don't like the mug and then I go for a break and when I come back like poof there. <laughs> it's 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 like a prettier mug and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Yeah, I was just cleaning it around and then I was like, wait, I forgot to do something and then boom. <laughs> I had what I, like I started I did what I had to do, which was technically the mug, which you guys can see like I'm already pacing color here and then also a couple of wine bottles that I added one more on top of the balcony and also one on the floor next to her and here I'm simply just creating like my flat colors so I can start making sure that I'm adding um, the colors into the correct layers and everything so it, it does become more simple and easier for me to do this but mostly the reason i chose to do this illustration was because i had a commission piece before i started making this illustration which is the one um that i did i'm gonna post it up here for you guys to see and i really love the outcome of this um i thought that i was gonna take longer to do this commission and when I saw that you know I actually got the perspective right I went in I looked into the whole grid thing I used the grid here as well and I was so proud of myself and I was like okay I'm gonna take an old drawing that I never like got into because I was scared of doing backgrounds and I'm going to do it and this is literally what I did I just did, took the same grid that I created um, I tweaked it a bit and I just modified everything so that like all the cupboards looked properly placed and so did she and then when I finished doing this like the initial sketch um, I was really happy with it um, and as you guys can see now with the color it actually looks so pretty and so proportional so don't be scared of trying new things um, sometimes getting out of your comfort zone is the best thing that will happen to you and this was one of the best things that actually did happen to me because i really haven't gone out of my comfort zone in a while when it comes to my art and now that i literally put in my head i want to do backgrounds i don't just want to create portraits i love drawing portraits like it's one of my like it's something I started with drawing portraits but the one thing I really loved doing since I was a kid was creating crazy worlds and crazy colorful backgrounds so I decided to go in with that and I literally am enjoying this crazy process um, I have this one I have also done another one which I'm also going to get into coloring so but I don't I don't think I'm gonna post it next week that one's a bit I think that one's only coming out like next month well technically this is like the last art video for this month <laughs> so yeah next month I'll have another crazy one I am actually working on doing more colorful background illustrations not only just portraits because I want to do more with my art I love my portraits as I said but I do want to do more with my art and I want to expand it more even if it does take me a while to do I do want to do more I think that's why I started doing my sim builds video because it's something that I can do that is something that I love doing which is fun and it also helps with creativity because it's not something that I actually have to go in and think of art composition and colors and all that stuff so i actually have my brain just take a while to not think about art even though sometimes i do have to think about other things in when i'm doing like my sim build but i do not have to think about so much as in like art perspective things in there like i do when i am sitting down and i'm composing an entire art piece so I actually really had a lot of fun with this illustration 
and I do end up changing a couple of the colors because I did a little color um, I did add like a little color a test before but I do end up changing it um, I put the hair like here right here I do change the hair color <laughs> uh, I changed the the pants color to the hair color because I thought it would it would look better I don't know I wasn't liking like the lighter hair so I decided to switch it up and I made the pants lighter and I had made the hair like a crazy pink color because I am into crazy hair so I actually really enjoy it and I'm actually really enjoying this <laughs> so my color choices here were a bit bold I know that because um, I have her in a very pastel color vibe and well Mostly like the doors for the cupboards are, oh yeah, the cupboards, they're kind of light as well, but I just wanted something colorful <laughs> in this art piece and I actually just decided to mm, practically use variants of the colors that I was using. If you kind of look at it, it, it literally does have a lot of variants of the actual colors that I used on her. Um, Except for the walls, um, I was always, I actually wanted purple walls. It was actually supposed to be darker purple like I did in the beginning, but I kind of changed it up to a lighter violet because I thought it was too dark and it wouldn't actually end up looking good or the way that I actually wanted it to look. So that is one of the reasons I actually decided to not go with that darker purple and I ended up changing it to this lighter tone. Um, I did start out coloring this entire illustration from the background. Um, this is something that I'm trying to do over and over again because I have realized that when I start doing a bigger piece, when I started like coloring from the background and then moving on to the character, it actually made my workflow foster, if you if I can say it that way, because since I already had the tone of the lighting that I was using in the background, applying it to the character was easier. And it just made everything work. It just made everything flow the way I wanted to. And I did realize that I did end up like doing all of the color and all of the shading and rendering for her it was actually faster than I would do if I actually started with her and then move on to the the like the background. Um, I normally don't do that on my other illustrations because normally I just do portrait illustrations and it's just simply like the character and I'll just put like loads of sparkles in the background and it would make it fun. I was intentionally going to add sparkles to this illustration but I thought it was going to be a little too much because the the piece itself is already very cluttered and i actually wanted this kitchen vibe with a lot of cans and objects in the little different places and i wanted like books like they're like a lot of cookbooks and a radio because normally some of the kitchens that um some of the kitchens that i have normally been to normally has um a lot of radios or like they're just playing music from their cell phone as well so i decided to do that i wanted like a radio there and i wanted to her to be chilling and drinking her tea and <laughs> flash wine and just like you know looking it's like she's looking to us but in my head she wasn't actually looking at us she was actually looking at somebody else and like she's drinking her wine and just waiting for the tea to happen <laughs> just waiting for that tea to be spilled and everything is just going perfectly like the way that she envisioned her day when it started so yeah this is one of the reasons i started doing all of this from the background was literally just because of that because it just brought out everything for it and like the minute I started working on the background and I saw that all of this came together and I could actually just make this 
shine. I just enjoyed the process of just having the time of my life doing this. Um, and I actually realized that I did a lot of um, darker shading as well. Like I did like darker overpasses. Um, even before I finished the entire illustration, I did do that simply because I wanted to get even more of the feel of like a finished render because I when I finished the background to be honest I was like okay this background is finished let me see what I can do to just make it like pop out a little because I am going to put lighter tones later on let me fix this and see if I like it and I did go with it and then when I started working on her it actually made it easier for me to see where I was like doing the illustration too dark and it started like going a bit off and then i started fixing it a bit more and i really had so much fun doing this like backwards because technically i was doing it backwards for me so this is something that if you haven't done before i really recommend it for you guys like to start coloring in like the background like take your time with the background because um I actually finished this piece, um, weirdly enough, I finished it in like three days. Um, I took two days just doing the background because I wanted it to literally feel like a finished piece to me and I wanted to take my time with it because I wasn't used to drawing backgrounds. And I realized that when I did my commission piece, when I started doing the background first, it went so fast it was so fun to do I simply just had the time of my life and when I started doing this one and I actually just took my time with it because it's just a normal piece it's just something that I wanted to draw it's just something that I wanted to do for fun you know it was just like a drawing that I wanted to do for myself I normally don't like draw for myself like or or just draw for fun i normally like to draw and like have something to show or something to post because for me drawing has always been something for me so even if i'm not doing it for myself or like just to show to someone else it still literally makes me happy to be putting my work there putting my illustrations there so I'm actually okay. I think the only thing that I don't show is my sketches. I actually need to buy a sketchbook only to do sketches, <laughs> like ugly sketches because the, well, technically <laughs> the book that I have, like the sketchbook I have has both and I really don't want that. <laughs> Getting back on track with this entire illustration, you see I'm actually coloring it again and I'm actually adding more light and I realized that I actually understood how everything, especially the lighting was working because I had done the background first and I didn't try to figure it out afterwards when I had already finished rendering her. So this really helped me a lot. And I had so much fun rendering her pans. Um, they looked so fine. <laughs> it was it and the shade that it became with the rendering with the lighting with everything placed in it I just enjoyed it so much that I actually want pants like this in real life if you guys know where I can find pants like these please tell me <laughs> um but yeah I actually really thought that it looked really good simply because of this little matching that I did the just starting with my background doing all the rendering doing the lighting doing the back doing like all of the shading and then going into her knowing that okay this can't be too light because this has to be in the dark or like this is shadow pass this is too dark and it's supposed to be lighter and then i'll start lightening up like you guys saw that my illustration her face was a bit darker and then she got a bit of a little bit lighter and I actually ended up doing this until I got to her glasses and I fixed it and I added a little sh like little light as well because you know they're not fake it was she was actually wearing actual glasses <laughs> but yes <laughs> and here I'm doing the fun part as well which is just simply adding the labels to the wine bottles which was actually pretty fun because I actually had a lot of I, ha I was laughing 
with myself <laughs> when I did all of this because um, when I decided to change up the, the labels a little bit and add something else, um, I just went crazy. Like um, it was supposed to be I chose violence this morning, but then I decided to change it and I just put no, I choose violence. And then I just had like the little wine label at the bottom. But yeah, yeah. And this is my illustration for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next week for more. Actually, I will see you guys on Saturday for more. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys. Have a great day.